Here we are at South End in Essex for round two of the British Kite Surfing Championships. We've got great conditions, 25 miles an hour on the water, a slightly cross off wind. It's all looking great. As you can see behind me, we've got some of the biggest kite surfing brands here demoing their equipment and we've got 48 competitors competing across men's and women pros, men's and women's amateurs, juniors and a masters competition as well. So let's get into the action. We're going to hear from Rich Flindle now who is a local pro. I first started kiting about 13 years ago in this spot here. Um, this is my local spot. I'm totally stoked this year for the tour to come, be coming here to Essex. It's going to be such a big boost for the for the local kite community here. So many of the guys are taking part in the sport this year. We've got quite a few girls, which is super fun, um, and a few new names are cropping up too, which I'm super excited about. It's really nice to have a, a really good girl community. I'm not sure how it will go. Um, fingers crossed it will go well, um, but we'll see. So here we are back at uh, UK Championships. Does this bring back good memories for you? Oh, it certainly does. I haven't been to one of these competitions for a while and it's such a good scene, so many people here. Uh, can you tell us about this week? It's been quite a special week for you. You're running uh, youth training camps. I think you ran the second one with the same group and they're all competing here this week. How have they been getting on and how do you think they're going to do in the competition? Yeah, it's fantastic just to get a group of them together at all of the same age. They don't get that at home. So they come here and it's our second one and they're bouncing off each other for their tricks and they're really learning fast. They've got so much courage, they just go for it. So we're having some tricky conditions here this morning. The wind's a little bit up and down, it's gusting through and then it's dropping off which is making it difficult for the riders. We've managed to get some heats run from the pro men's and from the pro women's but equally we've had to black flag a few heats. It's quite tough here and um, the wind's pretty up and down. One minute you see everyone like really like really powered and the next minute like moving their kites. This is what UK kite surfing scene's all about. A couple of legends kicking back talking about the good days. This is the first time I've been back to a competition since probably about 2006. You've been filming a lot this week with the juniors. Uh, how are you finding that and is it interesting watching their progression? Yeah, the juniors, they're just, they're flying. They've got so much energy, so much passion for the sport. They're so young as well and, you know, you see them wipe out 20 times and bounce. It was like back in, you know, back in early 2000s watch, watching Aaron and he would just take slam after slam and I'd take one of those slams. I'd be injured, broken, you know, I'd be out for two weeks. Can you remember what it's like for these guys, the conditions that we've had uh, today, it's more about making it work isn't it? The competing is so different to free riding, and the free riding you can go, oh, the conditions aren't quite right, I'm not, you know, we'll leave it or you'll go out anyway and then you'll just do tricks when you can, whereas when you're competing in these conditions you, you've got your five minutes and that's it. Forcing you to ride in, in average or bad conditions is what actually makes great kite surfers, yeah. like in the long term anyone can go to a spot where it's like hair dry wind that's blowing consistently and do amazing tricks. Kite in hard conditions do tricks when you have to rather than when you want to and you you will improve. Anyone who comes here and competes will be a better kite surfer because of today. How are you enjoying the Masters competition? Yeah it's good, yeah. really good. Um, seems like it's quite high level and it feels like a real competition so it's quite tough and I was super, super pleased last time to win it. Yeah. So stuck. So what we've decided amongst the riders and the local guys like Rich who know is we're going to postpone the competition until tomorrow morning. What time are we starting Rich? 9am. Here we are back in Southend, day two for the British Kite Surfing Championships. Big thanks to the Essex Kite Park yesterday for an awesome party. Today we've got five hours of competition to get through. The juniors are underway and up next is the amateur women. We've been stood out here for about five hours now getting soaked. Some of the marshals are actually drenched to the bone. Anyway, we've had lots of rounds of the competition running. We started off with the juniors. They went out, the wind was a little bit lighter and they ran through their event. We also had the amateur women who've completed their event too. Currently on the water, we've got the masters and the amateur men. We're running through those heats and then we're going to send the men's pros out. The wind gods have been kind to us. It's been blowing, the forecast is for it to pick up. It's going to be about 30 miles an hour with the tide on the push when the men's pros get on the water and then we're going to send the ladies out and they're going to throw down as well. Team Turner, the winners hey. of the <laughs> competition in Lansing, how are we getting on today? I got into the final, 
I had a good first heat, but um, my final, I'm a little bit disappointed with my performance. <laughs> um, I made a bad kite choice and uh, struggled to get upwind into the um, into the kite zone. So landed a back loop kite loop, and that's pretty much it. So <laughs> I don't think my chances of winning this time round are great. It's about two inches deep. Uh, even if you walk like 100 yards out into the water, it's so shallow and there's big oysters sticking up everywhere. So okay. it's, um, yeah, I can see why they stopped it for a minute. But uh, yeah, hopefully the tide will come back in and we'll, we'll get back out there. So that is it, the end of two days of intense competition here in South End that have tested the riders' skills and at times their dedication and patience. Let's head into the podium. I've ridden a lot with Rosanna in the past and um, actually at the last event as well. So, I mean, it's always pretty tough competing against other girls, especially when you're not in the same country all the time. But yeah, it's cool. I stupidly took my seven, so I was quite underpowered. But it was good, yeah, we're doing quite similar to it, so it's always good to ride with her, um, and we keep pushing each other. So I'm looking forward to handstanding, because I don't know which way it will go. I was, I was pretty happy with my level, um, but the conditions made it tough for everybody. Yeah, it was, it was tough. Uh, I, yeah, we got here for the riders briefing at nine o'clock, and I didn't hit the water till six, so there was a lot of waiting around, a lot of deciding what to do with the kites. It was horrible weather with the rain made it very difficult to kind of actually be on the beach and watch any heats before you got out. The final was uh, really, really tough. Uh, great riding from Tom and uh, Sean. Sean uh, put some great tricks down. Unfortunately, we had some issues with uh, where the box was um, and a lot of us were tricking too close to the beach. But once we sorted that out, Tom put them down an amazing double half cab and a mode five. Um, and Sean got some really, really clean powered moves in the box. And unfortunately, I missed a couple of tricks, but that's how it goes. Really happy with the result, and hopefully, can pick it up next next uh, well, couple of weekends in Hanstanton. Uh, turned out all right.